sometimes I can be watching the hawk and notice by his reaction that there's a bird of prey in the sky. And just now he, he was looking up which caused me to look up and uh, there was a red kite in the sky which uh, uh, something we don't see down this way very very rarely so a couple of years ago we saw one a couple of years before that so they're quite rare and the first one i've seen this year What I'm going to do now is just give Woody a little bit of pheasant leg there so he opens up all his wings so I can have a look and see what's going on with his wings. And then I'm going to give him a little bit more off the fist in a minute. See here that the feathers that are in blood are coming down nicely. Oi. Woody, that's no attitude. So we've got quite a few coming down there now, new ones on that left hand wing. So Woody is doing very well. He's got a bit of an attitude. Now he's at fat weight. He still knows it's me. But you don't want to be trusting them when they're like that, for sure. Especially with any strangers. He's not keen on strangers. But he certainly knows me even though he's having a little bit of a go. All looking good. No sign of the deck. As yet, no sign of the deck. We've lost one deck. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten there. One that we'd lost in the summer and the one that's just molted out making 12 but what I'll do is uh, give him a little bit more in a minute on the fist keep him manned up as best I can <clears throat> this is part of the tail that we recently lost or from the train and that's where one two three four five that's where the deck is missing which we lost in the summer. So we're waiting for that to come through. We're hoping it's gonna come through. I've said it before, but I've got to say it again. We're doing this every day and we've kept this going, this getting him out, the muse. Um, I've got the time. If you haven't got the time, it doesn't matter. Just put your hawk away, leave it, let it molt out. You'll get it back okay at the end of the season I'm doing this just to for a bit of interest keep the channel going and uh, make the odd video through the malt maybe every couple of weeks or more if something's going on but this one is just to show that that left hand wing is all doing well feathers seem to be holding nicely and like I said before when your hawk's at fat weight they probably ain't gonna come back to you if you lose them. So you're better off not getting them out because if anything goes wrong, then they're gonna be away. But of course, during the hunting season, if you made a mistake and your hawk got away, your weight's down and um, you've got more chance of getting him back. Fat weight is reached, they 
tend to have a different attitude. I think they seem a lot softer in nature when they're in lower weights. A lot kinder, a lot softer, a lot friendlier. And then you get them to fat weight and they start getting an attitude. So Woody has picked that bone pretty clean now. And uh, he's going to drop that down in a minute and then Will I come and get that bone. It's stuck on his talon at the moment. Woody. There it goes. So let's see if we can get Woody hop into the fist for his next piece of food. So we've got quite a substantial piece of pheasant in my hand here. <whistles> Gonna let him have a big old crop fall today. I've brought his weight down a touch. He's doing this. It's, uh, I'm sort of controlling his weight a little bit, all those at fat weight. You could just keep taking his weight up and up and up and up. And he was getting rather heavy, so I've brought him down to what I know his fat weight was last year. But if you can imagine, if I can keep this going, and he's comfortable like this when we do start hunting it won't take much before he's going to start working again I like to fly Woody at a uh, fairly high weight as hard as I can get him depending on his attitude I can't say what his weight's going to be last season it was lower than the season before that's the way we were working I couldn't get him much higher um, than he was working at because he was just being disloyal. But the year before, he was hunting at some really heavy weights and catching and returning. So it is all about what the hawks like um, at the time. Well, I'm hoping that if I can keep this going, we'll see what he's like next season, see if we can hunt him a little bit higher than I did last season. Because last season, I didn't keep this going right through the molt. I went away for a week, maybe just over a week, and when I came back, he didn't want to get on my fist and come out of the muse, so I just let him go back wild. But I will say there's a, an element to getting them out of the mews wild or feral again. That is quite rewarding because you can then start sort of retraining in a different way. Doing it this way, if I keep it going, I haven't got them same sort of pleasures getting him on the creance and uh, working it all out it'd be, it'd be a little bit easier that's what I'm saying the best thing is when you've got your new hawk and it's completely wild not seen a human like Woody was 18 weeks old or 19 weeks old never seen a human been in total seclusion and <clears throat> we have that challenge then of taming him down um, getting him flying to the fist, hopping to the fist, flying to the fist, preons and getting him out. So from getting Woody as a 19 week old bird, um, we were, it, was, it was 21 days and I was out flying him free, which I thought was quite, quite good really. Considering Woody 
when I first got him was very, very angry and uh, he wasn't very happy with me. Didn't want to have anything to do with me at all. But now he's a right old steady bird. I do think from what I've seen with this, this hawk, the most important thing is manning. Once your hawk's settled, I don't think, I wouldn't say you just keep getting your bird on your fist in the early days and just forcing it there before it's decided to eat and feel comfortable. There's various ways of doing it, but what I mean is once your hawk is out flying and it is comfortable on your fist for food, then I think keeping it on your with you, socialising it as much as you can is good. So I tend to take Woody indoors, put him on a perch, and he sits there with us, watching what we're doing, watching the dogs, spending time with us. Sometimes I'll take him to work up the school, show the kids, and uh, take him up with my mum's, have a cup of tea, and I, th I think that um, makes a, a good steady hawk. But there, that said, some people do like the hawks to be a little bit more wild anyway. Um, which, why not? If that's what you want to do. But maybe the weight has to be a little lower then. So you can do this in a few ways and it's not a set science but I certainly like to keep Woody as tame as I can and as fat as I can even through the flying season his weight will be up as much as it possibly can so I'm going to give him that last little bit if he wants it just let him let him be on his perch. You sit there now having a little pluck of those feathers. A little bit of enrichment. Even though I've given him that food, he's still mantling more when I'm coming in touching this food. So he doesn't seem to really know the hand that's fed him. That's all pretty much gone, Woody. Let's give that to Willow, shall we? Willow? I've never ever seen Woody bath or drink out of his water outside the mews. He was very slow to bath in the first place. I don't think it was until we was a few months into the very first season and his weight was up a little bit. We'd been flying, he'd got used to everything and I couldn't find Woody, we was out and the next thing I knew he was down in a puddle bathing away there, got himself absolutely soaked. That was the end of that, couldn't fly anymore. So he's not really a bird that's as a bath a lot, but he does have a bath and usually it's in the mews. And as, as I say, occasionally when we're out hunting, if there's a puddle or a pond, he can be seen to be in them puddles and having a bath. But some hawks, they love a bath and they're getting their bath at the bottom of their perch, but not this one. They've all got their different traits.
Let's see if Woody will pop over for this nice bright chick which he loves. So Woody is just coming up to four years old now. He was hatched on the 10th of May 2020. So it's now April. So he's not far off from four years old. Where has that time gone, Woody? Eh? <laughs> 